Hello everyone and welcome back. I have been on a road trip uh, and I traveled 1350 kilometers between Stockholm and Copenhagen uh, and I did this with my Model Y Performance built in Germany in Berlin or Grünheide. This is one of the first 5000 uh, cars that's built there and I thought it was interesting to share some stats with you regarding actual range when on a road trip, uh, net battery capacity or usable capacity when driving, and also some charging information and charging speeds, both for Ionity and also uh, V3 superchargers. But first I'm gonna show you some dash cam videos from the car, from the actual trip. And then after that, uh, I will provide you some stats and inf more information. Thank you. So now I'm actually charging at Ionity Ramlasa in south of Sweden. Uh, this is my first Ionity charging session. Uh, I actually managed to uh, charge at a speed at 180 kilowatt hours. Uh, that's good and that's with cold battery so I guess it's uh, 
not the maximum speed but uh, it's only six stations here uh, and all of them are full and it's a long long uh, tail of cars waiting to be charged I think it's like yeah that's the last run so it's like 10 cars uh, waiting for charging but uh, I actually tried uh, I'm, I'm charging with the uh, bonnet uh, the new application from England uh, so this is a free charge for me and uh, uh, it was very easy to start it actually just started in the app and the handshake went went fast and everything good so we'll be ready for for continuing the trip in within five minutes so the road trip was 1350 kilometers uh, it was in good conditions no wet roads no rain and not much wind but around 20 degrees celsius so it's more or less ideal uh, for driving an electric car uh, the speed limits during the trip was between 90 and 120 kilometers per hour uh, i should say the average speed was around 100 or 105 kilometers per hour and the, the average consumption ended up in 172 watt hours per kilometer that equals to 276 watt hours per mile uh, so this is uh, more or less what you can expect when traveling uh, just around 100 kilometers an hour uh, and for longer trips and in good weather conditions of course you can you can be able to achieve better results for instance uh, i'm able to to travel with an average consumption of 150 but then the average speed is more or less 85 or 90 so that's a big difference in consumption when when going slower uh, so with this consumption i i managed to travel 447 kilometers on one charge and that's uh, from 100 to zero 100 percent of the battery capacity and the battery capacity uh, i have calculated is 75.3 kilowatt hours net capacity uh, i think this is a little bit higher than than others are stating so so it's maybe it's it's more more towards 75 uh 75 kilowatt hours but that's that's around that ballpark and this is the bigger uh, lg battery not the panasonic battery it's the same big battery pack that's provided from china from the Chinese for Chinese cars or Chinese produced cars um, and I also did some charging tests uh, and I tested Ionity charging for the first time and uh, the car actually charged at a maximum speed of 182 kilowatt hours or kilowatts I should say uh, and that's more or less because I, I i plugged in too early or i, I started to charge at a, at a state of charge at 18 percent that's a bit too high uh, if i have been started at a one digit percentage uh, sock i will probably achieve around 200 because uh, the theoretical maximum uh, charging speed at the Ionity charger is 500 amps and since the battery all, only takes 400 volts is 400 times 500 and that that equals to 200 kilowatt as a top theoretical charging speed so i think i'm pretty impressed i think it's a good alternative to to the v3 superchargers when not available or not nearby uh, but of course you will get a bit higher speeds or charging speeds when using Tesla superchargers, at least the V3 ones. Uh, then I achieved uh, a top charging speed of 252 kilowatts, uh, at least at the beginning. And the total charging session took me 35 minutes and that was between 2 and 80%. 
So for 35 minutes for charging 78%. I think that's good. That's more or less uh, the time you need to grab a lunch, a, a quick lunch, uh, and going to the to the, to the restroom, etc., and then continue your trip. So I don't think you need that much higher speeds for the moment. But I guess that's that's uh, more or less what I expected from the superchargers. Uh, I have been reading about it earlier, so that's that's good. Uh, So summary, real life range when traveling around 100 kilometers, kilometers an hour or 105, it's, it's, it's between 440 or 450 kilometers. And when traveling in lower speeds below 90 or up to 90, uh, you can expect uh, just over 500. Um, that is what I have achieved anyway. So there you have it. Thank you.